Well, we'll start with Kai because Kai was, you know, obviously a genetic freak. He was competing as a teenager and as a natural pro. I think he was 19. He was already 5'8 and like 210 or 215 or something. You might, Did you know him back then? So my first experience with Kai was at Fifth Avenue Gym. You know, I, I went there to train, you know, and, and I, I, it was, I, had a, I had a bet with somebody of who was going to squat more, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it was that specific date. And so we're training and, and you know, we're squatting here, and, and there walks Kai Green. Hmm. And I looked at him, I was like, what the fuck? Who is this kid, man? Hmm. And he must have been 15, 16 years old. You know, he, wow. was, he, was, he was a couple of years younger than I was. And I was still young. I was still a teenager. I was probably like 17, 18 at the time. So I could attest 100% that Kai looked like that when he was young. <laughs> so my point is, so he ended up going, you know, he went to NPC. He got, he turned pro by winning the team universe at, a, at around the same weight. He was like 215. Nobody believed he was natural. False shit. He did his first New York pro naturally because he didn't look much different then. And people were still talking shit. Oh, no, he's not anything. He comes back like a year later. I think he had gotten some contracts. I think we signed him. MD signed, but he had a good supplement contract, so he had some 2008. money. 2008 was it? 2007. It might have been. I think it was 07. It was. It was around 07. that time. He come back the next year, the New York Pro. Didn't look like the same person. It was like, oh, no. was it like 30, 40 pounds of muscle in one year? Yeah. So here, here, here's a cool story about that show. So, you know, Kai had competed many times, and, and Kai, Ronnie St. Cloud were good friends. You know who Ronnie St. Cloud yeah, is? Yeah. Right? He's, mm-hmm. he's an old, old school bodybuilder from New York as well. Yep. You know, so. Him and Ronnie were good friends, and they would do a lot of like, you know, a lot of dancing and posing and stuff like that on stage. Kai eventually stopped because he realized that I can't do this if I want to be one of the best in the world, right? Somebody must have gotten into his head, which was the right thing to do. But I was at that New York Pro, so I hadn't seen Kai probably since whatever show he competed last before that. I'm not sure if it was the New York Pro, the Iron Man, whatever, whatever it was at that time still going up. Yeah. So Kai comes on stage, and as we know, guys, you know. It might be an open show, but we pretty much know who's going to be in the first call out, second call out. You know, I mean, it's 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 status. Let's be honest. You know, and and not not favoritism, but it's status because we know the physiques that are coming out, how good they are, and everything else. That's why me and you and everybody else online or in this world can make predictions. Right. I don't think anybody predicted Kai that day. <laughs> so Kai comes out, right? You know, you come out in the lineups. And everybody was like, what? Especially because it was the New York Pro, the New York City was in BMCC. Everybody was like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. You know, so the lineups go. And now they bring up comparisons. Kai's not in the first round. Hmm. Kai's not in the second round. Hmm. I think Kai was in the, Kai was either in the second. I think, no, I, 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 I'm pretty sure Kai was in the third round. Third call-out, so wow. Yeah, third world call-out, right? So now he destroys that lineup. Destroys that lineup. So now they put them, bring them back out with the second call out. Hmm. But how are we going to get Kai from like 15th into the top five? That's yeah. going to be really <laughs> tough, right? So I think Kai finished sixth that day, um, sixth or seventh. I think it was sixth. And then, and then if my memory serves me right, uh, Blackman yeah. signed them to muscular development that week. Yep. The next week after that was the Keystone Classic that Dennis Wolf won. Yep. And then yep. I went on to win the Colorado show. Right. If, if, if my timeline is correct. But I yeah, I mean, so. Kai, when Kai came out of the 2007 run, it was over. It was like, yeah. what the hell happened? Because he trained naturally a little Right. And he, you know, he optimized, he maximized his natural potential. And then when you do that, especially someone with really good genetics, they do that. And then you add the PDs in, kaboom, they blow the F up. Hey, did you like that video? Smash that like button, subscribe to MD, and please comment down below. Thanks for watching.